Hey guys, this is Sumit K. Welcome back to my channel, The Cloud Baba. In this video, we will cover another sample agent from EDK uh, called Rag Agent Architecture. So in this architecture, we will see um, how this uh, Rag agent is designed and how you can um, um, upload a document to a Vortex AI Rag engine and and based on that you'll get an answer it will use the rag uh, with vertex ai rag engine to fetch the relevant documentation and uh, the pdf files um, which are then be forwarded to uh, forward by an llm to provide a informative answer so before we understand this architecture uh, before we walk into the sample agent rag I would like to cover what is RAG corpus for this because this is very important when you are um, working with uh, Google Cloud Vortex AI engine, especially for the RAG part. So I will come back to this agent in my next video. First, we will understand what exactly is the RAG uh, corpus, um, how you can basically, <clears throat> um, let me show you my second slide. So yeah, <clears throat> so what is RAG corpus in Vortex AI uh, RAG engine is basically um, Vortex AI RAG engine uh, is, is a component of, a, of the Vortex AI platform which gives you a RAG generation option, right? Or retrieval augmented generation option. So Vortex AI RAG engine is also a data framework for developing context augmented large language model application right so a common problem with the llm is that they don't understand your private knowledge right and that is uh, the when i say the private knowledge it means your organization data or your enterprise data they don't have uh, they are not trained on your enterprise data right so for that reason we we use rag uh, to feed our enterprise data to, to, to the LLM. So with Vertex AI RAG engine, you can enrich the LLM context with additional private information. Uh, the private information, when I say private information, which means your private data, because the model can reduce the hallucination and answers the questions more accu accurately, right? So by combining the additional knowledge source, with the existing knowledge that LLMs have, a better context is provided, right? So this is the, um, arch the basic architecture here where you can see on the upper part of this architecture is the ingesting the document. These are the document of your private data, <clears throat> or you can also say your enterprise data. And this is kind of a query retrieval. So if you, if let's first break, uh, let's first understand this architecture. So here you can see the, we have a data engine, sorry, my bad. So here you can see we have a data ingestion. Um, these are some of the steps which we need to understand um, in, in, a, in a, which is a part of your retrieval augment and generation process. The first is data ingestion you will ingest the data from multiple sources could be a local files cloud storage or google cloud then data transformation happens in data transformation you'll convert the data we basically prepare the index so for example data is splitting into the chunks here you first parse and enrich the data and then you will uh, convert into some chunks if you have let's say a file which has uh, well, let's say if you have a PDF file which has a hundred page, it will convert this entire uh, big file, a big PDF into ten different files, ten different chunks, right? And then be something uh, called embedding. Now embedding and indexings are first of all embedding. What is embedding is is a numerical representation of your the words or the piece of the text which has been written into the chunks, right? And these number capture the semantic meaning and context of this text. So you can say that it's 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 a vector representations, right? So these vectors um, 
have a similar embedding and which means they are closer together in a high dimension uh, high dimensional uh, vector space it could be two dimensional three dimensional multiple dimensional you can um, close those piece of text in a form of vectors which is nothing but a numerical representations of your text tightly together right then something called data indexing now vertex ai rag engine creates an index we call it as a corpus if if someone asks you what is corpus is is nothing but it's just a uh, index which vector uh, which vertex ai rag engine creates right so the um so the index could be like a detailed table of contents for a massive reference book right if you when you open a book you'll see the reference table right so you know that which uh, page has uh, this particular uh, topic or particular content so you can directly go to that page and uh, can read the content in a similar way index is also a uh, kind of a table of massive reference book right then we have the retrieval um, where user ask a question or provide a prompt the retrieval component in the vertex ai rack engine search through its knowledge base to find the information that is relevant to the query right so it find the information in the indexing right which would be relevant to your query your query will also gets embedded and it matches the similar um, piece of words uh, and then it uh, generate the response right so that that's why we we call the retrieved information becomes the context which will be added to your original user query as a guide of uh, generative ai model so the when a user gives a prompt it will first ask a uh, the data from the private data uh, which is in the index and then the user query plus the retrieved um, text will become a augmentation for the um, llm and the llm uh, model generates a fraction a factually grounded and a relevant response right so everything that you see is using user rag engine so let's see how you can basically um, uh, you know uh, we can see a basic demo on that uh but before that i would like to also cover what exactly is the rag corpus because i have um talked this uh, uh this word many times so try to understand that rag um vector database uh, 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 not vector database but uh, when you when we creating a rag corpus vertex ai rag engine offers uh, rag managed db as a default choice of the vector database um, which requires no additional provisioning or managing uh, vertex ai rag engine is uh, basically automatically creates and manages the vector database for you right so as i said when i say uh, rag corpus it means the indexing so right so don't, don't get confused with with that but in addition to the default rag managed database vertex ai rag engine also provision and bring um, a vector database for for you for you to use within the rag corpus so in this case you are responsible for the life cycle and scalability of the your data vector database so i'm going to give you a document here which you can see Just let me show you here So this particular doc uh, document, if you see, apart from this rag managed database, um, you can have, you can have. Uh, so this is the rag managed database by default. So basically, you you can't see this uh, rag managed database in GUI console, and it is clearly saying that rag managed DB is a reasonably distributed, scalable database service that offer. consistency and high availability and can be used for the vector search right so here you can see that no setup is required and uh, um 
disadvantage is that the capacity is intentionally limited and that that is why it is best for the quick poc chatbots and rag apps right so that is why we we use that but when you um so when you go for a production based application then you should go for vector search it is a cloud native uh, vector search database uh, within the vortex ai so here you can see that um that this is the benefit is that it can integrate with the vortex ai and, and, and other google cloud service and you as pay as you go and uh, you can see this is an enterprise level uh, scale rack so yeah so these are some of the vector database that you will be responsible for the life cycle of this particular uh, database similarly we have vortex ai feature store um which it has a different um, um use case and other third party like uh, bb8 is an open source vector database uh pinecon this is quite very familiar fully managed database cloud native vector database designed for a high performance so you can use that one so what what i mean to say that uh, when you when we perform this lab you don't get confused that what is rack corpus behind the scene it is the indexing which is getting stored into the rack managed database so this point this points to be needs to be remember that and um, that this database we are we we, we are going to use as a default um, vector database or rack corpus okay all right so if i show you my terminal here let me show you my terminal yeah let me just <coughs> zoom in so um this is a so if, let me show you the uh, the document here also so that you you can also use that um let me show you here so this particular document what takes a rack engine overview you can see this particular design and if you want to just quick start so you can get your all the code so you make sure that you install your vortex ai sdk for python then you um, run you can set the project id and you can authenticate using this particular command and authorize it and then this is the basic sample code which you can use it in your google cloud console to run the vortex ai rag engine right it's very simple code that we are actually so um, let me just explain you in the terminal so here in this code let me just walk you through this code so we are first we are importing the libraries we are importing the rack from the vortex ai generative ai models tools and then uh, what we are doing uh, we are setting up the basic information like project id display name and the paths so this is the path where our data is stored so what we have so if you want to see the data inside this cloud storage uh, let me show you here so this is my bucket and under this bucket i have a this pdf file and if you want to look at this file what's inside it it's a um ancient hindu vedas and the oldest scripture information uh, which has been preserved like all those informations are there information about the rig vedas sama vedas and uh, our oldest um, uh, vedas which are containing a lot of scientific informations has been captured into this pdf so we going to ask query uh, and the um, llm is going to response um, based on the uh, based on the content within this pdf right now coming back to my terminal now here we are the second thing is now we are initializing the vortex ai and then we are creating the corpus so in the corpus we we we, we will configure the embedding model which is text embedding 005 you can take any model and then we finally creating the rack corpus um which is like a database or uh, or nothing it's is like an index right as i said then you import your uh, files or document into the corpus 
So uh, the how do you import it? You will import it from your cloud storage. Here the document are split into a small pieces, which we call it chunks of 512 tokens, and uh, the overlapping with the 100 tokens. And you can also limit how many embeddings are created per minute. It's up to you. You can increase or or decrease it. Then we have direct context retrieval. Um, this is uh, how um, how many top matching documents or chunks you want, and there you are, you are gonna apply the filters. And then we will use that retrieve chunks with generative AI model um, using the rack retrieval tool, uh, which basically create a retrieval tool using your rack corpus, and this tool will allow the model to enhance the answers. Uh, by taking the data from your uh, PDF file, right, or the vector indexing. And this is how you can um, uh, create the Gemini model. And then this is the list you want to, if you want to uh, create the list. So right now I don't uh, want to create the list. I'm going to comment it out. And this is like generating a response. Um, we're going to ask the question, uh, Let's say world renowned ancient. So we, we can ask what is world renowned ancient Hindu Vedas. So so yeah. So we gonna ask this. We have provided our question within the code. Uh, now it's time to run this uh, run this code, and let's see how it responds. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So behind the scene, it is creating the corpus. It is importing the document, splitting it and embedding it. Uh, and then we uh, use those chunks to enhance the Gemini model response. And finally, um, we are waiting for the response. Oh, yeah, you can see here. Um, if I just a little bit zoom out here. So it has responded with some information, right? You can see that uh, the source is this one. This is a PDF file, right? And this is some of the, and this is the response from this PDF file. Um, like it is um, answering all the information of uh, Hindu uh, Vedas and scriptures. So this is how you can see that uh, it has nicely responded you can use the markdown and all those things to get a very um you know answers uh, precisely so here you can see that um, this is the response from your generative ai model so behind the scene what happened that it ingests the data and then it stored it into a vector database in a corpus and when a user sends a query, that query is also getting stored as a embedding. And it, 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 what it has done, it basically matches the relevant uh, piece of text or piece of vectors, and provided the response. All right. So I wanted to explain you this rack corpus um, because you must be having a basic understanding of what is happening behind the scene. Because when we cover the sample agent of rack, then you would have a pretty much good idea how this agentic, um, how this um, uh, rag and agentic workflow looks alike. 